Today we're going to be checking out the Canonet QL17. My M6 is currently being repaired at Leica in New Jersey, so my good friend Chris Visser sent me his QL17 to try out for a bit and to get my rangefinder fix. Side note, Chris and I just started a new podcast called Real Time, where we talk about movies and television, so you should definitely check that out. There's a link in the description. But before we dive into this camera, I want to take a second to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you're a photographer, you need a website, and Squarespace is the best all-in-one platform out there. They have tons of different templates to choose from, and they're all super easy to customize to make a great-looking website. If you'd like to try Squarespace out, you can sign up for a free trial at squarespace.com, but when you're ready to get signed up, I can save you 10% off your first purchase at squarespace.com slash mattday. So the QL17 is a fixed lens 35mm rangefinder. People like to refer to this as the poor man's Leica, but from my brief time with it, I don't see anything poor about it. It's definitely a lot more affordable, obviously, but this is a nice little shooter that would make a great everyday carry. You've got a 40mm f1.7 lens, which is pretty fast for such a compact and affordable setup. The f1.7 is where the 17 comes from in the name. QL stands for quick load, referencing the loading system this camera uses. You just drag the film over and this little plate will flip down to lock it into place for you and you're good to go. You have shutter speeds ranging from 1 500th of a second to a quarter of a second and then bulb for long exposures. The camera does have an internal light meter, though it's really only activated when you're shooting in shutter priority, which we'll get to in a second. Your meter has a range of 25 to 800, which you can manually adjust. As for the shutter priority, you just set the aperture to A for automatic, and then you can choose your own shutter speed. Depending on the light in your scene and the shutter speed you've chosen, the camera is going to choose the appropriate aperture. However, if your scene is too dark or too light, the camera is going to prevent you from shooting in order to prevent underexposure or overexposure. This is nice in theory, but it could lead to missing a shot based on how the camera is interpreting the light that's in your scene. So because of this, I just use Sunny 16 and shoot everything manually. No issues there. I had a somewhat free morning a couple of days ago, so I decided to give myself a challenge. I had one hour to shoot one roll of film in the Canonet. I just walked around town, I looked for interesting light, and I tried to get a feel for the camera. I threw the GoPro on top, I stopped in to roast coffee to knock the cobwebs off the brain, and I started shooting. So all of these photos were from one roll of Ilford HP5. I shot these at 400 and developed them in Ilfotec HC with a dilution of 1 to 31. One thing I did notice is on some of the photos where I was really particular about how I lined things up in the composition, it didn't really turn out the way I expected it to. On my M6, it adjusts for parallax really well, and I'm pretty reliable when it comes to composition with that camera, whereas this one, things were a bit more off than I was expecting. For whatever reason, that morning I was really drawn to photographing lines, so I was looking for a lot of lines in all of the light and shadow, and a couple of the scenes I photographed a couple of times just changing little things in the composition, but not every change was that drastic enough to warrant showing every single photo, but you're going to see pretty much 90% of them here. I'm happy with how this lens performs though, it's good and sharp, and even in a lot of the backlit situations, it didn't really haze as much as I was expecting it to, so it turned out really nice. All in all, this was a fun challenge. One camera, one lens, one roll of film, and one hour. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing this, and I've enjoyed this little camera. So big thanks to my buddy Chris Visser for loaning this to me. If you guys have any questions about the camera, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.